Hello. I literally saw the next level and was like, oh, I was really hoping it was this way around. They haven't like swapped, but I can do these in any order I want. But let's just bite this bullet. Oh. I can't even vary up my death. Sorry, my nose is a bit blocked. I left my AC on for too long. I've already forgotten these. The <laughs> controls. Please remind me. Okay. Up and up is down. No, actually down is down, and I think that's what fucks me up because you're expecting inverted controls and it's not inverted. Oh, there's a tube here. I'm glad that that was visible. Um, the fuck? <laughs> that feels like bullshit. I'm just gonna. Didn't look like I touched that. This is like literally. I said in the last bit game, uh, last uh, thing that I played with one of these pack things. Uh, this handles like shit. I hate it. Why does it exist? I will literally fight people who say it's now. Oh, the plastic cabling is cable guard is not protecting me from shock. That's the whole point of the plastic cabling cover. Please. Okay, so if I go low, I get hit on the invisible geometry of this pipe. If I go high, I get electrocuted, so... Seriously, fuck off with this. Like, they just really needed to introduce this earlier into the game. Uh, and tighten up the controls a little bit, and they have tightened them up a lot more from the original, because of course they did. <laughs> no longer D-pad shenanigans either. Oh yeah, fire, fire hot, burn. Fire burn. Ugh. And these wave all over the place. And the camera is straight up obstructing you from being able to see where the cables are to stop yourself being that. So that's fun. This is just like everything. Everything, like I will literally fight people who say, oh yeah, like the boulders are the worst. If the boulders are not the worst. This is the worst. The lag on the inputs, well, the jetpacks, like, fire up, but just everything. And it's like, I know they tried really hard, because it's like the front thing. He Literally on the title screen, he's wearing the pack, but it's like, holy shit, is this like the worst handling jetpack detection of any video game I've played? Oh, his sneakers touched the, the cone? Okay, fine. And the temptation is to zoom, to just try and keep the stability, like, localized and shit, but if you go too fast, all of the hazards are just everywhere, like this, <laughs> and it's really obtrusive and difficult to get around. And then they do this shite as well. <laughs> oh yeah, it's not hard enough, here's some more explosives. Oh, and then I need that myself. Okay, momentum is good, maybe my awkwardness about moving, like, forward too much is some areas you just gotta zoom past and just hope for the best. Oh, eat a dick! Look at this dick waffling shit. Now I'm dead. Ooh! This better be recording, I'm not doing this again. File corrupted. <laughs> No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe I was just being an asshat before. I'm surprised these walls don't kill me or super collide me or something. They look like a super collider bullshit. I didn't even remember that in the original. Oh, great, nitros. Just what I always... Oh, it's hot pipe. Just what I always wanted. Oh, and this, like, oh yeah, why isn't he getting blown up by them? Oh, 
Oh, great. I'm glad I can see the imminent death. Isn't it great when the camera's almost always angled downwards in this as well, so you can only see, like, the bottom two-thirds of, like, what you're supposed to be looking at? So, like, literally, you spend most of your time staring at this pipe floor and just going forwards, going like, fuck, 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 fuck. Oh. Oh, well, uh, who gives a shit now? We're out of this. Please don't die, 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 please don't die. Who gives a fuck? Ah, okay. Please don't die, please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. Yeah. I know you can't die in that area. So I was putting this off for like a straight week, going, this is going to be shit. <gasps> I didn't find the crystal. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I was just gonna say that was way easier than I remember, and the whole thing of the camera angled at your fucking the bottom of the screen the whole time. I didn't see the crystal, and it's been like a week, and I forgot that you're supposed to get the fucking crystals. I love how they literally put this crate there to say. Yo, dog. Oh, great, so I just wasted, like, a load of lives for nothing. Didn't even get it, the gem or anything on this. Oh, shit. So we're gonna keep our eyes open. I now have to scan and do this, like, weird strafe that he's doing here with his arms and shit and just check every corner. Because apparently I literally just fucking spaced. Haha, <laughs> spaced, get it? <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> I missed that entirely. Uh, this is what I mean, I'm missing shit. Because I'm hugging like random materia all the time in this area rather than actually just looking with my eyes because I'm spending most of my time staring at random shit. Like, it was such a crowded fucking level, I don't know how I could have missed it, to be honest. See that? There's a pink reflection here. And it's nothing. Like, it either pans really high up so you can't see forwards, or it pans really far down so that you can't see forwards, and both of those are shit. Oh, oh! <laughs> How am I alive? <laughs> Fucking hell. No. I pressed. Did you see that? I pressed reverse. Give me that. Give me, give me that shit. There we go. I pressed reverse and he went forwards for like a millisecond and I was like, oh my fucking god. See, these pipes kind of look pink because they're overheating. So you're like, oh, the gem, the crystal's nearby and it's not. I'm gonna go buy it again. I've probably gone buy it. I should have gone there. Great. This game is just a middle finger, like this. Oh, oh, I got punks then. So let's look up. I think I missed it again. Little shits. Oh, I knew it. Lagging motherfuckers. Ah, oh, it's okay, I don't want lives or wampers or anything, no, yeah, just fuck me, I guess. Up is good. Stupid bandicoot. Expensive to operate high-tech machinery, it's a fucking bandicoot. What the fuck am I looking at? Oh, that looks good enough. Wait. This is a- whoa. It's a box. <laughs> it's 
Can someone help me here? Wait, how, I don't know how you'll help me. This is a recording, not a stream. People in the chat, tell me where the fuck the crystal is. Seriously, I have no fucking clue. I think this happened to me when I played the old games that were re-released on the uh, PS3, you know, like this level, I was just like, the fuck is it? And I had to keep redoing it. That, that, okay, like, I don't deserve these. <laughs> like, because look, look at this shit, like, how am I supposed to know? There's pink, but there's also a giant fucking crucifix of death. You can see the purplish amethyst glow, and but it's kind of masked by the... See, like, this shit. Like, it was hit... I hate this. I hate this more than I hate... I don't know. I don't really hate a lot of things. I hate that. <laughs> Every time there's that one. It's fine. Whee! I missed two this time. Just get out of this nightmare. So that's 10 minutes of my life that I'm not getting back because I couldn't find a fucking object that was glowing bright pink. Last one, then the true test. Then we awaken. I was going to say the yellow one, and that feels incredibly racist, even though it's like literally, why is N-Cortex like, look at this, why? I think I've said this before on these things. Oh yeah, I did. Oh, I need to set fire to my ass. Oh. <laughs> Good work, jackass. Oh! <laughs> she kind of got me. If you touch the glowy sides, much like in Crash 3, everything has glowy orange sides for some reason. Oh. I timed it just a little bit wrong. Wait, I had zero lives last time. Oh, probably got enough once. Are you ready to game over? Because I sure fucking am, <laughs> apparently. I can't even get by, like, the basic shit. Thank you. Like, it's not even hitting the ground. How does that count as me being squashed? It should just be pushed down. Physics be damned, apparently. Oh, this is a gem path. This looks like shit. This looks like shit. Let's go to the blue shit. Yay! Because, you know, these are easy, right? Ooh! Well, that's nice. Oh, this isn't. I'm just gonna watch it. Oh, well, we all knew that was going to happen. We got two lives. That's what matters. Try the actual way. Uh, yeah, it helps if I actually look at what I'm doing. I really hate these squid monsters. I don't know why, they just, like, in the original they didn't bother me, but now their tentacles really bother me, and I don't know if it's just... Uh, 
Okay. Feels like bullshit, but it probably isn't. <laughs> like, let's face it. Not going well. I remember this just being a little strange with his GPS timing. Oh, he clipped out existence. But is it? It's not like I even got to a checkpoint, so it's like. <sighs> I was mentioning it in other uh, in sort of descriptions I wrote for the beta levels, but like there is some real. Okay, that was just me being stupid. Oh, now you get that I'm the shit of the game. Uh, yeah, like, the difficulty spike is really weird for Crash 2. All of the others actually do a fairly good level of difficulty spiking. Although, saying that, if you think back to Crash 1, I mentioned that um, you got some pretty tough levels before you get up to the boss Rampage. Uh, oh, you're just like, oh, you're there to trick me. That feels like bullshit. That also feels I could see the checkpoint. I can do this. I just have to not be stupid is very hard for me. Yeah, like, Crash 1 for, follows a relatively understandable, though, difficulty level, where it's just like, okay, that makes sense. Like, it pretty much linearly goes up. Like, Slippery Climb and High Road are just, like, some of the last levels you do come across, and it's not like Castle Machinery or uh, any of the others are particularly easy by comparison, they're just not as bad. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, see that? Look at this shit. Look at this shit right here. Look at this shit. Look at them smug bastards. Look at them fucking asshole. Yeah, I'm 20, you motherfucker. Just some too. Let me out. Thank <laughs> you. Yay. Now to die in stupid ways. Oh, you little... Irregular. You knocked me into the oh, and these guys I forgot about you. This little shit. No, they do it to fuck with you. See? Jacks up your timing. I hate the nitro is occasionally hot. It's just to fuck with you. I hate these guys. I hate them, like, there's... Their irregular timing is fucking with me lately. Come on, then. These guys as well. That bad timing? How am I not dead? Tony, explain that to me. I span, but too early. I do not trust this nitro. <laughs> I'm psyching myself out over this nitro. Because they keep hopping like that. Oh, 
so focused on the nitros trolling me. They're wobbling. He was about to get me as well, because I nearly forgot. Oh, you little shit. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, this game is for kids. Do you want to advertise it for kids? Here's me having a swearing tirade. Uh, yeah, the difficulty spike is just really weird for Crash 2, and I think that's what gets me. I'd say Walk Room 4 is actually, on the whole, really hard. And this is just feels a bit trolly rather than, like, legitimately hard. If that makes sense, like, these guys are the whole... They're the whole thing. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Now I'm on the wafer. Span them into the nitros a little bit. I knew it. Why did I jump? Indecision. I'm gonna waste on this guy. Wish I could spin him into it. Keep saying it. They take their time fucking with you. They take their time. <laughs> they know. They know that they need to hold my hand. Oh, it did the thing I was scared of. <laughs> I'm sure the bastards. about getting murdered at the same time. Uh, difficulty spiking in this game is just, it's a really weird curve where I honestly think that the legitimately hard and challenging levels, uh, I don't really understand what you want from me. <laughs> uh, oh, come on, man. <laughs> you just give me this one thing. Um, it's just, it's a lot more... <clears throat> How do you say, uh, early, and then it has to reintroduce a new level concept so it holds back a bit, and then it's hard again straight away with the same, like, the machinery levels and the jetpack levels, and it's like, you're introducing too much too late. I know you're trying to beam shit, that's why there's, like, B shit. Okay, I'll just stand over here for this. Oh, wait. Oh, balls. Balls! They knew it! Motherfuckers! Okay. They knew it. I knew it. 
because I've played this game before and somehow I just was like, nah, I'm just going to stand here and wait it out like a lamer. And they were like, you can't be a lamer. We love flaming lamers. In the flame war. Um, yeah, I'd say legitimately I have the biggest trouble with war room. Oh no, please! No! <laughs> this is like the only level you see me in this warp room struggle with, to be fair. And the, one of them had a weird control scheme in zero gravity. So you got to consider when it took me an hour and 20 minutes to do the entirety of um, warp room 4, and it was pretty agonizing to view even for myself, when editing it. It's, uh... Surprising I didn't body slam into the hole. And then some good old box bridging. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then it'll say, you got eight boxes you missed, and I'll be like, well, fuck you, buddy. Mm, preview of the shrink ray hell we're about to in in witness. Yeah, you got to think, <clears throat> I'm really not dying on anything except this. Oh, oh you little bastards. Oh, no. Why is everything trying to kill me? Yeah, I honestly think the late introduction to a lot of shit is what fucks them up. Oh no, I shrink. He used to be able to move while he shrank, but it's like completely pointless because you can't stop yourself or find an enlargement ray or anything. Okay, how do I deal with that? How do I deal with this? Seriously, how do how do I deal with this? So apparently, I don't know. Really don't want to game over. Stand. Just slide a bunch, dumbass. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> the, the end is right there. Don't fuck me over like this, man. Oh. <sighs> Seriously, fuck off. No! <laughs> fuck you. I'm glad you're a mask. Hope you get stuck in as a wooden mask forever. Meanie. Yeah, and like, if I was going to talk about Crash 3's difficulty level, is it's pretty understanding. It's like, it's just a gradual but very subtle level increase. It's not, like, tough to grasp. And, like, it's really the secret levels when you start feeling any resistance, really. Like, you saw me do the LP for Crash Warped. It's just really, there's no big deal. You know, at any point, I'm not really struggling all that much, so... Ugh. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, good. <laughs> oh. I think it was going to let me out because it felt bad for me, and I was just like, Oh, I'll just wait for him. Oh, you hoppy bastard. Look at this hoppy motherfucker. Hoppy. Oh, fuck it. Let's just 
should just go with it. Um. Oh. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. It probably isn't, but I don't care. Oh, that is bullshit. Squiddy motherfuckers. You're a kid now. You're a squid now. Fuck it, just take what you take what you can get. He wants jump, he gets jump. Teach me. Spun. I gonna say, uh, ah, whatever. <laughs> Bye. Uh, <laughs> yes, just go with it. Uh, yeah, the difficulty in, uh, Uh, crash free is pretty low. Like if I was to draw a graph, I'd say it's just a gradually slow but quite shallow increase on crash three. I'm not feeling any like stress or anything from it until you hit the secret levels, and then you're like, "Oh, what the fuck? That's bullshit." No, I don't agree. I do not agree. Waste of mask. Angie. Every time I talk, man. Every time I talk. Um. Hate this fucking game. <laughs> How is this my worst enemy? Uh, what was I saying? I can't talk. Every time I talk, I die. Even on these. Um, yeah, Crash 1 is a fairly understandable with only... I'd only say, like, a really minor... Ooh, now, I need to work out how to work these. I'm pretty sure it's just slide jump and don't touch the... No, it's not. <laughs> Well, we're learning something new today, and that's what matters. Ooh. Friends. <laughs> no! Just give me the mask. Just give me the fucking mask. I clearly don't know what you want from me, because normally I used to hop hop, and now it's just like he's a heavy ass bastard now. Oh. Well, that's fun. Yeah, great. Just fuck me over again. Deep tits. What the fuck? I did it that time and I wasn't expecting to. Please don't kill me again. Please. No, I want to live. I'm begging you, Jammy Dodger. Floating weird Jaffa cake. Oh, you little shit! <laughs> Sorry, that got me legit mad. <laughs> Beat that in a panel. 
So as you can see, it's basically the final level is hard in the fifth warp room. The rest of them are just annoying. We did all of that and it's like, oh, it's been half an hour for <laughs> two levels, fair enough. Mostly this one though. What does Cortex have to say? <laughs> You know, that's the longest, I think that's the longest in any form of media where you, the player can clearly see that you're being fooled from day one and it's like the entire game is crash going, huh? And you're supposed to just go along with it and it's a bit like, really, you really think anyone's falling for this shit? You can see it straight up deactivates the portals and I have to do the final boss thing. So, I'm going to save. And then we're just going to have a video of me screaming into the void, which is the uh, new Cortex level. So, yeah. Just to break this up, because I am not editing an hour again.